What else is it my life was meant to be? What kind of impact do I want to leave behind? How do I want to make a dent in the universe? And then you enter into the world of the unknown and that's going to require an act of faith. The speed of change or technology or design or we don't know, it's still relatively new. Did you lose interest in blind or what, what was going on? I think we were all in different cycles or phases in this timeline, right? Where at the beginning of that timeline, we kind of have to just prove ourselves. We have to be able to make some money to survive. And then once we start to hit this, this kind of optimal level where we're doing things almost on an automatic level, like this kind of unconscious competence level, we start to search in our brain, like, what else is there for me to do? Is there more? And it's that question that begins the second journey where it's a journey inward, where the first journey was the journey outward. So we start to explore like, what else is it my life was meant to be? What kind of impact do I want to leave behind? How do I want to make a dent in the universe? Then all of a sudden we start asking the harder questions and we start to discover this other version of ourselves, this one that's been long forgotten and buried deep in our subconscious. And I think when we bring those parts together, we have to make a pretty hard decision. Do we want to go down the path of pitching or talking to a boardroom or working with people who are embracing this concept of being fearless and, and, and being comfortable in who we are in our own skin and our own clothes? That's the hard decision. Because you leave behind the world of security, predictability, and then you enter into the world of the unknown, and that's going to require an act of faith. So I'm glad you mentioned that the word fearless there, because this obviously is the Fearless Business Podcast. Was there was there a point when you were like really hyper aware that you were kind of making that going across that bridge? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much aware of it every time that we have to do this. In the time in which I started my other company, Blind in 1995, I think every three to five years we had to reinvent ourselves because we knew the speed of change or technology or design or whatever else was happening in the world was going to be such that if we didn't evolve and disrupt ourselves, someone else would. And it's one of those internal beliefs that if we're going to get disrupted, why not disrupt ourselves and reinvent our business? And so every three to five years, a moment comes and we have to make a big decision and we keep doing that. But the jump from doing a service design company blind to the future as a content company was very clear. I'm clearly not working on client work. I'm going to start recording and producing content for some strangers on the internet with no clear roadmap for how this is supposed to work. It's not like you could call up 10 influencers and say, hey, how'd you do it? Is it working? Are you making money? Are you happy? We don't know. It's still relatively new. And so that was a pretty big jump into the unknown to embrace this other itch that I wanted to scratch. So that was the driver. It was kind of an itch you wanted to scratch. But was there also a natural sort of, you know, you, you was it, did you lose interest in blind or what, what was going on? Because obviously you kind of have to say no to something in order to kind of say yes to the new thing, the, you know, the YouTube channel. There are two things that happened there. Number one is we built a company, a team and a culture that was fairly autonomous that could run itself. And so I had a lot of free time to think and wonder about where this is all going. And I could look at certain patterns and see something emerge that I was not super thrilled about. We see that there are many more people entering into the field competing. We can see the trend in terms of the budgets going down. We can see that the need for commercials and music videos is going away. And it might be tomorrow or it might be two years, 10 years. We don't know, but it's not trending in the right direction. And we want to be at the front of the wave, not behind the wave in these things because we want to ride it. So seeing that, I knew that the timeline in which we could pivot and do something else was going to be shrinking. So this is when I started to explore something else and say, okay, it's clear to me, this is not where my future is going to be. And then the big question mark is, what is that future going to be? And there's a lot of unknowns.